Hallo Deutschlerner! Welcome to the third lesson in my new beginner German series. Today I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of different ways to say farewell in German. I'll explain when to use each and a little of the background of each farewell. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. If you're serious about advancing your German skills, consider taking courses with Lingoda, the online language school. Their teachers are all native speakers who are trained to help you take your language skills to the next level. Click the link in the description and get started learning German with Lingoda today. Over on Patreon, you can get a copy of today's video script, an MP3 podcast version of this video, and a worksheet for every video in the series. There's a link in the description for that. Probably the most widely known farewell in German is Auf Wiedersehen. If you translate it literally, it means until again seeing or until we see each other again. It's also considered to be pretty formal. I personally almost never use Auf Wiedersehen unless I want to say something fancier than usual. You don't have to use the word Auf in front of it either. You can simply say Wiedersehen, Auf Wiedersehen, or Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. If you're on the phone, you won't say Auf Wiedersehen because you aren't sehen, seeing that person right now. You're hearing them, so you say Auf Wiederhören. Auf Wiederhören. This means until we hear from each other again. Again, you can leave off the Auf if you want to make it a bit shorter. Wiederhören. Auf Wiederhören. A similar farewell would be Wir sehen uns. This is like the English See you. It's more casual than Auf Wiedersehen, but the general meaning of seeing the other person again is still there. Wir sehen uns. Wir sehen uns. My preferred farewell is Tschüss. It's a much more casual, everyday farewell, and it's more likely what you're going to hear when German friends say goodbye to each other. This farewell evolved from the Latin Adium, which eventually became the French Adieu. This then evolved into Tschü in some dialects in German, but Tschüss in others. Due to some regions using the long vowel sound and others using the short vowel sound, the spelling of this farewell varies. It can be spelled with two S's, one S, or an SZ. I usually spell it with two S's, but my pronunciation is based on my mood at the time and not the spelling. I usually default to the short vowel sound, Tschüss, if I simply want to say goodbye, but I'm not feeling overly enthusiastic about it. And I use the long vowel sound, Tschüss, or Tschüss, when I'm feeling a little bit more playful. I personally never spell it with an S set, as Duden only lists the single S and the double S version. You'll still see the S set version, however, as not everyone agrees with the decision to leave that version out. So, it doesn't matter if you say tschüss or tschüss. Just remember that it's a casual farewell and shouldn't be the one that you choose when you're leaving a fancy dinner with some politicians. If I'm feeling particularly playful, sometimes I say tschüssi, which is just a fun version of tschüss. While we're on the topic of valedictions based on other languages, Germans also sometimes say Chow. The recommended spelling from Duden is T-S-C-H-A-U, Chow. But many people still prefer the original Italian spelling, so you will see both. Just remember to pronounce it as Chow. Despite the original Italian meaning being a greeting and a farewell, Germans only use Chow as a farewell. In southern Germany and in Austria, you can say Servus. This is another informal farewell and can also be used as a greeting. Servus derives from the Latin phrase Servus Humilus, which translates as I am a humble servant, but it doesn't carry this connotation in modern German. Servus in modern usage is simply a way of saying hello or goodbye in a less formal way. Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, and Guten Abend are all greetings, but Gute Nacht is a farewell. This is the same in English. I say this every night to my daughter when I put her to bed. Gute Nacht, Kleine. Schlaf gut. Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht, Kleine. Schlaf gut. Gute Nacht, Kleine. Schlaf gut. In my last video, I mentioned the greeting Mahlzeit, as it's used whenever people are going to lunch at work. You can also use this as a farewell in the exact same circumstances. Mahlzeit. Mahlzeit. While you can't say Guten Tag as a farewell, you can say Schönen Tag noch, which roughly translates as have a nice rest of your day. Literally, it's just beautiful day still, but you get the idea. The greeting really only works if there's enough of the day left to merit saying rest of your day. As you leave a store, an employee might say Schönen Tag noch. 
technically speaking, you can use any greeting with the word noch behind it, and it would mean something similar. Guten Morgen noch would be have a nice morning. Guten Abend noch would be have a nice evening. Those versions, however, are not common, and you might get a weird look if you say them. Stay on the safe side and just stick to schönen Tag noch. Schönen Tag noch. If someone is going on a trip, you can say gute Fahrt. Gute Fahrt. This is like wishing them a good trip. This farewell only works if they're driving, however. If they're traveling by any other means or you don't know how they're traveling, it's probably safer to say gute Reise. The meaning of these two are basically the same, but gute Fahrt includes the word Fahrt, which is used when driving, as opposed to any other kind of trip. Gute Reise is a more general farewell. Gute Reise. Gute Fahrt. There are several ways to say take care in German. The first one on my list is Max gut. This literally translates as do it well. You can respond to this farewell with du auch, which is like you too. Or if you're feeling more playful, you can play off of the literal translation of this farewell and say Max besser, which is like do it better. Max gut. Max besser. Du auch. Max gut. Max besser. Du auch. A more literal translation of the farewell take care would be pass auf dich auf. Pass auf dich auf. Pass auf dich auf. The verb aufpassen means to watch out or pay attention. The literal translation of pass auf dich auf would be watch out for yourself or pay attention to yourself. I think this gets the general idea of the English farewell take care. Pass auf dich auf. Pass auf dich auf. The last version of take care on my list is leb wohl. Leb wohl. This is like a final goodbye. It's like saying have a nice life. Leb wohl is like the word farewell in English as it suggests finality. If you want to be more rude, you can also play on the classic auf Wiedersehen and say auf nimmer Wiedersehen. Auf nimmer Wiedersehen. It's like until we never see each other again. While Leib Woll is a bit sad that you won't get to see them again, Auf Nimmer Wiedersehen sounds like you're looking forward to the fact that you won't see them again. Leib Woll, Leib Woll, Auf Nimmer Wiedersehen, Auf Nimmer Wiedersehen. If you want to say good luck in German as a farewell, you have two options. Viel Glück is the more common one and literally means much luck. But you can also say viel Erfolg, which is like wishing someone much success. Viel Glück is much more universal, but viel Erfolg can only be used before something that would require success. You can also say viel Glück if you kidnap Liam Neeson's daughter and you don't think that he actually has that particular set of skills that make him a nightmare for people like you. Viel Glück. Viel Glück. Viel Glück. Viel Erfolg. Viel Erfolg. Viel Erfolg. Speaking of wishing people well, you can also say Alles Gute. Alles Gute. Which is used for wishing people happy birthday and other special occasions, but can also be used to say farewell. Alles Gute literally translates to all the best. Alles Gute. Alles Gute. The most versatile farewell on my list for today is any combination with the word bis in it. Bis means until. This is used for see you in English. You can simply add when you will see that person again at the end, and now you have your farewell. The options are endless. Bis dann. Bis dann. See you then. Bis später. Bis später. See you later. Bis nachher. Bis nachher. See you afterwards. Bis morgen. Bis morgen. Bis übermorgen. Bis übermorgen. Bis zehn Uhr. Bis zehn Uhr. Bis heute Abend. Bis heute Abend. Bis heute Nachmittag. Bis heute Nachmittag. And the one that I use at the end of every single video, bis zum nächsten Mal, until next time. 
bis zum nächsten Mal. So, what do you think? Did I get them all? You should tell me in the comments any German farewells you know that I forgot. I'm always excited to learn more, and I look forward to reading your comments. If you want to boost your German skills even more, consider taking courses with Lingoda, the online language school. Their teachers are all native speakers who are trained to help you take your language skills to the next level. Click the link in the description and get started learning German with Lingoda today. If you want a copy of today's video script, a worksheet, and an MP3 version of this video, I've made that available to my Patreon supporters. If you want to continue learning German with me, click that subscribe button. That's the end of our lesson for today. In the next video, I'll be talking about the three versions of you in German, which I've already alluded to in the videos about greetings and farewells. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!